hello assalamualaikum our uh, today's second task is to draw and analyze a two dimensional trust member in e tabs uh, this is the trust member we need to draw in the e tabs uh, in this section uh, in this uh, we need uh, we have uh, two uh, number of grids along the y directions and one two three four and five number of grids along the x direction and uh, the section to be used is a W uh, section that has 8 by 31 and uh, we will need to suppose uh, any, data if, uh, any missing data uh, let's start with the E tabs and uh, we will go to a new model here the model installation window will open we will uh, use the AAC code and uh, we need to use the units as US customary as we need to uh, put the data in um, Fit and uh, keeps so click OK over here. Go to the grid only option, and uh, we need to specify the grid that uh, number uh, grid lines along the x direction will be 4 and along the y direction will be 2, and distance will be 20 feet, and it will be also 20 feet along the y direction as well. And uh, so we can view the grid line as well. And uh, this is our grid lines that 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 number of grids, these are our same one. 2, 3, 4 and 5 number of grids in our uh, trust member so uh, that's fine and uh, 2 number of grids along the y direction so click ok over here we need to apply the number of stories say suppose that is number 1 number of stories is 1 and uh, that we need to click ok over here uh, here uh, this will shown like this and uh, we need to apply uh, we need to define the material properties in the material properties where we don't need to define any type of material properties as uh, we are using steel section database and so we go to the section properties and uh, frame sections we can check that uh, our uh, section is already available over here w8 by 31 and uh, so we will uh, go for the uh, draw options and for this purpose we will go uh, to the draw beams there are two types of options either we will uh, go to the quick draw beams and we will draw all the uh, we will draw the beams along the all directions and uh, then we will uh, trim the unnecessary beams that is another option like this uh, sorry we need to select the section over here before applying the be uh, draw the beam that is our section W8 by 31 and uh, now we need to we have cross section this is uh, our truss and uh, we will go for the draw options and uh, we will go for the draw beam options and uh, we will start plotting the beam like this uh, sorry uh, truss members close over here right click and uh, again right click over here now we need to check the these are the diagonal members This way our whole trust have been applied and we need to uh, cancel the command and now we need to assign the sports over here and we will select the sport over here and go to the assign menu joint restrained and that is a ruler sport over here <coughs> apply and uh, we need a hinge sport over here and we will select the hinge sport and we will apply it over here click ok over here and we need we now we need to apply the loads that is three keep three keep and three keep at the nodes of the h g and f nodes so uh, all these nodes have a similar loading condition for this purpose we need to define the load pattern as well go to load patterns for the truss we have to consider that the truss are are uh, are massless members so we'll 
and uh, modify uh, the red load as a self rate multiplier as a zero uh, that uh, it will not consider a self rate of the B, uh, truss and uh, we need to uh, read the live load as well and we need to apply a uh, further load that is super dead load and uh, uh, we have to find another load case that is super dead load and its self rate multiplier must be a one uh, click ok over here now let's apply the load and uh, we will go to the assign options and uh, for trust member we need to apply a uh, joint load so we have to apply it as a force member and uh, uh, we need to apply it uh, along the downward direction so we will click minus sign over here and click press 3 uh, right 3 over here in the, along the z direction and uh, select our nodes where we need to apply a load and in this way we have uh, sorry that view should be a y direction not a z direction just minus 3 and load case must be a super dead load that we have to find apply click ok and in this way we have applied a load of 3k over here Uh, let me check it again either it is uh, the confirm the units uh, joint load force and units are the keeps that will be fine minus sign indicate that uh, the direction of the load will be uh, along the downward direction that's all about the uh, trust member and uh, now we can check the uh, our model we need to check it select all options and click ok over here and wait for the message. The message um, model has been checked and no warning message was generated. Click cancel it and we will analyze the our trust member run analysis. And before uh, analyzing trust, we need to uh, save our member. Model has been saved and it is being analyzed. There are some warning messages as well. Uh, there are some zero or negative uh, model mass values were detected during the uh, analysis process, so we can ignore it as uh, done over here. And uh, now we can display the uh, sport actions. And in the sport actions, we can check all the sport actions over it like this. And uh, type of load will be a super dead load, and apply OK over here. And we need to I add this member and this is the and here the sports were shown like this and uh, now we need to uh, check the member forces as well and for this purpose we will go to display options and uh, force diagram and frame vendor league for this purpose we need to show the exit force diagrams and we will check, check the exit force diagram and we will uh, select the load case as super dead load and uh, we will apply this is the exit force diagram of the members and uh, there are some zero force members as well these are all the zero force members so click ok over here If you like right click any members, it will show the further diagram as well. That's all about our two days task number two. Thank you.